Okay. Good morning, guys. I'm gonna continue now what we uh, were doing in uh, on Class Dojo on uh, sorry uh, uh, the Zoom application. So we have to move now to unit ten. Presentation here. So <coughs> today's title, guys. Today's date, sorry, uh, March twenty uh, fourth, two thousand twenty. Uh, so what's the mistake that find the mistake and the in today's date above? So you told me, guys, that we have to add the comma after uh, twenty four, not before twenty four. Thank you. Now, oh, thanks for students who sent to me their assignments. They did. I wish others do so. Please, guys, those who did the, the homework and they sent to me the homework in class, do you? Thank you. Thank, thanks for them. And I wish the others do the same. Please do it. Now, look at the first picture, guys. What do you see in this picture? We can, we can see uh, the uh, picture of uh, COVID-19. This is the scientific name. This is what Allah told me. Scientific name of uh, coronavirus. This, this dangerous disease, okay, uh, it's called what COVID nineteen. So how do you find this this disease, guys? How how do you think people find this disease? Is it good or bad? Is it negative or positive? Huh? So you find it, huh? Abominable, abominable. How do you find it? Abominable, abominable, abominable. What does abominable mean, guys? Abominable is uh, is very bad and pleasant the prison the prisoners are forced to live in uh, abominable abominable conditions okay abominable means that the conditions were bad very bad unpleasant the weather the weather has been uh, abominable all week so how do you think uh, was the weather was it stormy huh was the sky clear it wasn't clear because the weather was Abominable, so it was stormy, I think. Yeah, look at this picture, guys. What do you see in the picture? It sees a magician. Now, sometimes, but some people, guys, believe what magicians uh, make or what they do before them. Sometimes, some magicians, for example, uh, can uh, uh, change the uh, tissue, for example, or the cell phone or the cup, etc., into a rabbit. Some people believe uh, believe what magicians do, and some others say that uh, magicians are not changing the tissue into a rabbit. They are just what deluding, deluding what the audience. So they delude the audience means that they uh, convince or persuade people that what they did is true, which is of course not true. So uh, delude means to make someone believe something that is not true. Delude, it's a verb. Delude, to make something, to, sorry, to make someone believe something that is not true. He's deluding himself if he thinks he is going to be promoted uh, this year. So do you think he's going to be promoted? Huh? Of course not, because he says here he's deluding himself. Okay? So what do you see in this picture, guys? It's a sheet. What kind of sheet do you see in the picture? Aluminium sheet. Now this sheet, guys, this sheet, we can, we, it, it has a name. What's the name of the sheet? It's an aluminium what? Foil. Aluminium what? Foil. Now, foil means a very thin sheet of a metal. It has, it has, should be what? Uh, a sheet of metal. So this, this is aluminium what? Foil, foil. Now, foil is a noun. Foil is a noun. It's a metal sheet, a very thin sheet of metal, especially used to wrap food uh, to keep it what fresh. We have tin foil, we have aluminium foil, and we have other foils, guys. Different kinds of uh, of foils. Now, sometimes when people uh, dye their hair, okay, 
they add a sheet to cover their hair after dyeing it. Okay, this 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 sheet is also called foil because it's very thin. Now, what do you see in this picture, guys? You see that people are taking uh, pictures. Okay. Now, why do you think people take pictures? Why do you think a, a photographer, for example, try to take pictures? Why? Hmm? To keep them as? Hmm? Memento. 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 What, what, what do you think they're going to do with the memento? They're going to... This moment is gonna remind them of what they were doing. Okay, when, for example, uh, if you if if uh, if you travel uh, to Turkey, okay, uh, sometimes you buy something from there to keep it as a memento. So when you look at this thing that you bought, you're gonna remember what you did there in Turkey, memento. And Faris, I don't remember what Faris told me uh, about his memento. He bought something from Egypt. I don't know what is it. It's a memento for him. Memento. Memento is memento. The plural of memento is mementos with, with S, with S, and moment or mementos with ES. Memento, guys, is an object that you keep to remember a person, place, or an event. I kept a seashell as a memento of our wet holiday. Sometimes when you go, for example, if you go to the, to the beach, okay, uh, uh, so you're gonna take, for example, a seashell just because the sea, uh, the seashell, the seashell, seashell, sorry, represents uh, the uh, the place you 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 visited. Now look at the picture, guys. Here, look at the view. Here, the view here is wide. Is really wide because it includes uh, many uh, things here. It includes the mountain, the the city. It includes the uh, the table. But yeah, when I asked Ryan about the view, he just looked at the food. So he, I told him, are you hungry? He told me, yes, I feel better, I'm hungry. So it includes the atmosphere, the uh, clouds, the uh, uh, the mountains, the city, uh, the, uh, the table, everything here. So the picture is white, so we call it what? Hmm? Panorama, panorama, panorama. So a panorama is a view of a wide of a wide area. Okay, this is panorama. Let's move to the next one, guys. Panorama, panorama, a view of a wide area. For example, from the hotel <clears throat> roof, you can enjoy a panorama of the whole city. Panorama. Try to imagine yourself standing on the uh, surface of the hotel and looking at the city. It's a panorama view because you can. The picture that you see is really wide, but do you think that you can see the panorama picture when you're sitting in a small room? No, not, not, it's not going to be the same uh, picture that you see when you are standing on the surface of the hotel that you are, uh, you are on. A view, description, or study of events or activities. The investigation revealed a panorama of corruption and illegal uh, dealings. Panorama here means... Uh, uh, study or description, description of events. Okay, or we can say why description of events is called also what panorama. Now look at the, the two uh, uh, dr uh, dressers here, guys. Look at the two dressers here. Now, if you look at the first one, this, this one is old. By the way, guys, this one, the two uh, dressers that you see in the picture are the same, but this one, this one is old. This one, after painting, after painting this one and making it new, it becomes like this one. So, what did they do with this uh, old dresser, guys? They re refurbish it. They uh, they, they refurbish it uh, the the uh, dresser. So, when you refurbish something, you make it new. You make it look uh, look new. Okay. Sometimes people try to refurbish their their uh, apartment they live in. For example, I tried to refurbish my apartment during uh, the summer vacation just because I wanted to look what new. Refurbish, refurbish to make the building look new again by doing work such as painting, repairing, and cleaning. 
the developers uh, refurbished what the house inside and out. They refurbished the house inside and out means that the house looks new inside and out. Now look at this picture, guys. What do you see in the picture? Now, now this graph, this bar graph, guys, shows the. Uh, uh, let's give me any any example. This is the uh, this so. Let's say that it shows the increase of, uh, uh, for example, of uh, international schools, okay, uh, in Saudi Arabia, okay. Now uh, the number of international schools is increasing. So uh, this is, the, for example, this year, to, uh, to 2020. Let's say uh, this bar represents the number of schools in uh, Saudi Arabia uh, of 2020 and these bars represent the what subsequent subsequent years it means the following years they represent the following years they represent the subsequent years so what about the subsequent years do you think that they're gonna witness an increase in the number of international schools yes they will so let's move to the next one. Subsequent guys, subsequent uh, happening after something else. And in subsequent years, he said he regretted his actions. Those explosions must have been subsequent to our departure because we didn't hear anything. Subse subsequent, oh, uh, okay. So he could know that he could know that it's uh, subsequent to to their departure. It happened and it followed their departure because they couldn't hear anything look at this girl guys this girl is talking to uh, uh to uh, a british man i told you i think i told you she's syrian and she doesn't know english so she met a, a british man okay so she wanted to talk to him in english so how do you find her english is her english good or bad you told me it's bad just through just because you know she doesn't speak english she speaks in Arabic, but she tried to, to say something uh, in English to the man she met. So how do you find her English? Her, her English is what? Bumbling. Her English is what? Bumbling. Bumbling means confused and showing no skill. Not just to talk about someone's language. We can say when we find someone not having a skill not, uh, or uh, someone who is confused and showing no skill, it means that we can describe him as bumbling. I have never seen such bumbling. What? Incompetence. Incompetence. Bumbling competence. So, uh, uh, so was it was it skill? Was what? Do you, thought, do, you do you think that the uh, incompetence was confused or and showing no skill or showing skills? It was confused and showing no skills. Now this is this picture, guys, is of a ship. It takes um, goods. It takes goods to the people uh, who are, uh, let's say, in need or let's say that unemployed. Okay, sometimes, guys, and this uh, usually happens in Europe, where people, when people are uh, unemployed, okay, the government gives them. The money and the, the government gives them food. So we call the food and the money that the government gives to the people, to the unemployed, unemployed people who don't have jobs, we call it what dole. Dole, the dole, the money that the government gives to people who are unemployed. Unemployed means don't have jobs, no jobs. Young people on uh, receiving, on receiving, young people on the dole are often bored and frustrated. Young people on the dole, and if they are living on the dole, they just give the money from the government. Okay, now, so some 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 of you maybe think uh, they will think that it's 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 perfect. It gets to live or uh, or, or when you are on the dole, it that, means that you are happy. No, because you get the money and the food from the government. No, this is this is this is something that. That can uh, uh, be an obstacle, a big obstacle for you to achieve your dreams. Okay, because you have to depend on yourself. You have to find a solution in yourself. You don't. 
wait for the government to give you the money. You have to go to work hard to achieve uh, your dreams. Okay, young, young, sorry, people on the dole are often much more than frustrated. I, uh, if I can't, if I can't find any work within a month, I'll have to go on the dole. Go on the dole means that he's gonna go register register his name, for example, and he's gonna get the food and the money from uh, the government. Now, this is a formula that is found by Einstein. Okay, this uh, great uh, scientist. Okay, you know that he was raised in uh, Germany, then he traveled to to uh, uh, to America. Okay. However, guys, this guy, this man, this man is really smart because he could make this formula. He could formulate this formula. Formulate means that you make a plan or you make details about a plan. So uh, formulate, formulate to develop all the details of a plan for doing something. To formulate a new plan, to formulate a legislation. Now this is Einstein again. This is the smart man that we've just talked about. We said that this man, we said that this man, some of you guys, I don't know who, uh, Domesi told me that this man, uh, now we can use, now we just use, for example, 10% of our pain, okay? But this man uses 20%. This means that he's not thinking the same way we think, not behaving the same way we behave, not living or uh, doing things the same way we do. So when we have a man like Einstein that he does uh, things in different way that we do, or he thinks the different way that we that we do, so we call him what none, none, conformist, none, conformist, non conformist, someone who lives and thinks in a way that is different from other people. Also, I can form as a member of a uh, Christian uh, a group that is uh, Protestant because, but, but doesn't belong to the Church of England. Protestants are called what? None. Uh, Confirmers just because they don't think the same way that Christians think, they don't believe the same way that, that Christians believe. So, so they are different, so we call them uh, Protestants. So, uh, uh, so we call them, sorry, non-conformist. So do you think that non-conformist is just, it includes just a, a negative meaning or positive meaning or it includes them both? It can be negative or positive. Now this is a fuel. I think this picture couldn't represent exactly uh, what I uh, wanted you guys, what I wanted uh, you to know. However, guys, this, this, is, this is a fuel, okay? Now, uh, uh, some people think it's, uh, to some people find it unfair to use all the fuel that we have on the ground because the people who will come in the future, who will exist in the future, uh, will, have the right, uh, will have the right to use uh, the fuel that we have on the ground. So do you think that we should share the uh, people who will exist in the future with the fuel that we have now or we use it all? So... I think I don't know, guys. I I think the uh, uh, the uh, posterity, the posterity guys, the posterity who will exist later, guys, have the right to use the fuel that we uh, that we have underground now. It's it's not our right to use all the fuel that we have now. Okay, so we we should leave something or uh, at least a small amount for the posterity. Posterity. Posterity means, guys, posterity means, guys, the people who live, who will exist in the future. Every attempt is being made to ensure that these works of art are preserved for uh, posterity. Posterity. Now look at this. This way, this man tries uh, to figure out uh, a way that can help him to heat his, uh, his visa. Okay, now... Uh, you know, sometimes you're stuck at home and you don't have uh, the stove, for example, doesn't work or uh, the microwave doesn't work. So what can, how can you find a good solution for uh, heating the pizza that you like, the delicious pizza that you like to eat? So this guy, I find that the, 
this guy, I find that this guy is really smart because he doesn't give up. He can find solutions. He can find solutions for the problems that he faces. Okay, or he faces. Okay, sometimes people uh, give up. They don't. They can't find uh, solutions for the problems that they have. But this man is not. He's really uh, resourceful. He's resourceful. He's resourceful because he can find solutions for the problems that he faces. Resourceful is an adjective. Skilled, skilled at solving problems and making decisions on your own. She is very resourceful manager. She is very resourceful uh, manager. Next one, guys. Look at this man. He's trying to shoot something using his uh, using the arrow to shoot something. Do you think that? Uh, uh, do you think that this man is a perfect hunter? Do you think he's gonna uh, shoot the exact uh, uh, thing he wants to? What do you think he's gonna do? I think he's gonna fail or he's gonna uh, pass. You think he's gonna fail or he's gonna pass? What do you think, guys? Okay, give me the answer. <coughs> okay. No. So uh, this man, guys, this man, guys, is to say that he's uh, un unerring, unerring. Just he's unerring because he doesn't, uh, he doesn't, he never fail, he never fail uh, to hit the goal. He never failed to hit the goal. So when we find someone that he uh, that he is really uh, professional to hit the goal, and he doesn't uh, fail to hit the goal. So how do we describe him? Unerring, unerring, unerring guys. Unerring, never failing to hit the target. Always accurate, accurate, and in in in, uh, in your judgment or ability. He has an unerring talent for writing. Uh, catchy uh, melodies, uh, melodies, melodies, sorry, okay, unerring, so unerring, it's negative or positive word, it's positive word, it's positive word, so it's good guys to be unerring, is it easy to be unerring, do you think that you need to be trained, uh, to train, to be trained to, uh, to be unerring? Yes, sometimes we need to work hard to be unerring. I know some unerring people who are always uh, successful just because they know, they know, they know what to do and they know uh, how to hit the goals that they uh, that they have. Now let's move to the next one. Uh, look at the picture, guys. This is uh, oil, oil spill, guys. Now, what do you think? What's what's the consequence? What's the consequence of the oil spill? Do you think Do you think that the consequence are gonna be uh, or consequences are gonna be uh, positive or negative? They're gonna be negative just because uh, the consequences when we have oil spill, this means that the consequences will be what uh, many animals will die. Many people also will uh, lose their jobs just because. And many people, some scientists said that if the uh, if we witness a lot of oil spill, okay, it means that it could be the end of uh, of life on Earth. Do you think so? Do you think this is is the consequence of oil spill? Consequence, guys, the result of a particular action or situation, often one that is based that is bad or not uh, convenient. Not making your work, not making your work can have serious consequences for your children and other family members. Scientists think uh, it's unlikely that any species will actually become uh, extinct as uh, as a consequence of the oil spill. <clears throat> okay, now. Uh, how do you find this picture, guys? Do you see the house? Which color do you see? Huh? Now the color that that I see here is uh, is uh, white, just because it's snowing. So what what did the snow do with the uh, place here? It covered the whole place here. It covered the house. It covered the trees. So 
so when uh, something when something covers another thing, what do you call it? What do you call this? Huh? Engulf. I think we took this word, guys, in reading. It was uh, in the first. I don't remember if it's grade four or grade six, but I think that we took this word in uh, in the first lesson of this year. I think yeah, grade six. I think we took it in grade six. Engulf, guys, means that. Uh, means to cover to completely what cover something okay so you see that the snow engulfed what the uh, the house and the trees engulf means it covered the house and uh, the tree oh. engulf to surround and cover something or someone completely uh, completely So uh, now you know that schools uh, are closed because of the coronavirus. So what was the school's initiative for uh, for closing the schools? What was the school's initiative? Initiative means the plan. So what was the school's plan? It was what? To teach students online. It was to teach students online. That way. Teach students online. Wait. Okay. So we said that the school closed. The schools closed just because of coronavirus. So what was the initiative for the schools uh, to teach students? It was online learning or online teaching or e-learning, okay? Or distant learning, okay? So they started teaching students online. This is the initiative for the uh, schools to continue the uh, learning process or the teaching process. Okay. Now let's move to the next one. Initiative, guys. Initiative. Uh, initiative. Initiative. Sorry. Initiative. Uh, it's a new plan or process to achieve something or solve a problem. The peace uh, initiative was welcomed by both sides. Now look at this. This. Uh, this picture you see. Students are doing exams. Uh, this uh, students are were well, doing exams before Corona. Okay, so most of the students uh, left schools and they didn't even continue uh, doing the tests that they had. So, do you think that the test that they uh, they did was uh, was a null and void, null and void, null and void? Huh? Do you think that it? doesn't have uh, any, no benefit for the for the test that they did. Null and void, it doesn't, uh, null and void having no legal force. The change in the law makes the previous agreement null and void. Okay, now the election was declared null and void. Why do you think that, why do you think that they, uh, why do you think that they uh, declared uh, election as null and void? So, do you think when they said that they, Election election was declared as null and void. Do you think it's gonna be legal or illegal? Huh? It will not be legal anymore just because it becomes null and void. Null and void. And no, uh, it's not legal anymore. It's not legal anymore. This is the exact definition. Not legal anymore. Null and void. Now this this guy is nosy. This guy is nosy. What does nosy mean? He, it means that he likes to know more about uh, people's uh, private life. So you know, guys, the nosy people, uh, the nosy nosy people always try to pry into other people's life. They try to know more about uh, uh, people's what private life just by uh, trying to listen what they talk about, trying to. Do things that can help help them to pry <laughs> into their life. Is it negative or positive to pry into someone's life, private life? Of course, it's negative. This is nosy, nosy man. Pry, disappointing to try to find the private facts about a person. A report, uh, as a uh, as a reporter, sorry, uh, I was paid to pry 
into other uh, other people's life to pry and into other people's life means to uh, try to figure out uh, to discover to uncover what uh, they have or what uh, to, to to know more about their their private life now the last picture that we have here uh, um, you what do you see in the picture please guys now they have uh, and uh, you see that we have uh, graphs here okay bar graphs and other graphs okay these graphs uh, are a kind of analysis for something that they have so what when when you do when people or when the government or when uh, uh, companies uh, make uh, an analysis how do you think uh, the analysis should appear do you think that it should be accurate it should it be uh, careful how do you think it so how do you think the analysis should should appear guys it should be, it should appear um, uh, the analysis should be what uh, careful and what accurate so it should be rigorous rigorous means careful rigorous guys rigorous adjective means careful approving careful to uh, approving careful to look at or consider uh, every part of something to make certain it's it's correct or safe rigorous testing rigorous checking and rigorous uh, methods now do the homework guys please guys page number 131 to 135 please use the vocabulary uh, workshop site please it's very important guys to use the vocabulary uh, workshop site just to drill yourself uh, saying the new words you learned okay it's very very important to tell yourself the guys because you're gonna uh, because you're gonna learn how to say the words and how <clears throat> and he's gonna give you some examples about the words that you uh, learned with your teacher today's wisdom may be the thing you hate to have as a blessing in disguise okay now sometimes guys we have we need things we don't like, okay, but you don't know, subhanAllah, this thing maybe is going to be, what? A blessing in disguise, okay? Uh, you don't know what happened, you know, because of coronavirus, we started learning online, we started distant learning. Some people are complaining about this, but you don't know, guys, maybe this is a blessing in disguise, okay? Maybe you're going to learn something new, maybe it's going to be helpful, maybe you're going to be better for uh, students, okay, for students, and uh, maybe it's gonna be better for the community, for the, for the whole community. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay.